Hi friends, I'm starting an experiment to grow Swiss chard in Rainpoint hydroponic system. This particular variety is called Perpetual Spinach. It got spinach in its name because the taste and flavor of this Swiss chard is exactly similar to traditional spinach. And growing this Perpetual Spinach is very straightforward and very easy and it is very productive. I have grown this in Aero Garden Bounty and that worked out very well. Let's see how this variety is going to perform in Rainpoint hydroponic system. This Rainpoint hydroponic system comes with a grow deck that has 13 holes and the bowl capacity is 5 liters. Even though it supports 13 pod holes, I cannot use all of them for perpetual spinach. Over the period, this perpetual spinach plants grow really wide and they get overcrowded. So I am going to grow only 8 pods. Alright, I am placing just one seed in each pod and starting with 8 pods. In case any of these seeds give up, I am going to replace the seeds. But I am placing just one seed. You can find the link to this Rainpoint hydroponic system and the stickers, sponges, nutrients, everything in the description below. The seeds are similar to any chard seed or uh, the beetroot seed. In many cases, this is not exactly a seed. This is actually a seed pod. There are multiple seeds inside and there is a high chance that we will get multiple seeds, multiple seedlings from each seed. That's it. The garden is ready. As always, I will add water, but I will not add the nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. I will use aerogardin nutrients throughout this grow cycle. And I will use 3 ml for every 1 liter of water. Alright, this garden is all set and good to go. It's day 6. I see pretty good germination. Look at this. I see multiple seedlings in each pod. This is what I was referring to when I was saying chard seeds are actually seed pods, not the seeds directly. They have multiple germs inside each seed pod. These pods didn't have any signs of germination yet, but that is fine. If I don't see any germination here, I'm going to transplant one of these seedlings into these pods. Anyway, I'm going to continue with just one seedling per pod or one plant per pod. So far, so good. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding the nutrition. I will use aerogode nutrients throughout this grow cycle and I will use 2 ml for every 1 liter of water to begin with. Once the plants grow really big, I will bump it up and add 3 ml for every 1 liter of water. I am sure that is going to be sufficient. It's been 8 days. The seedlings are coming excellent. They are growing really nice. Somehow, I still didn't see any signs of germination from these two pods, but nothing to worry about. I am going to transplant one of these seedlings. They are looking very healthy here. These seedlings and these seedlings are looking very healthy. I am going to pull out one of the seedlings and transplant them into these empty pods. With that, I can still grow 8 plants in this garden. Alright. I thin out the seedlings from two pods and uh, transplant them into these pods. Now I have this garden with all eight pods and uh, there are seedlings in each pod. I am also going to thin out the seedlings. Now that these seedlings are looking very healthy, there is no point keeping the excess seedlings here. I am going to thin out these seedlings and keep only one plant per pod. It's day 21. Look at all these plants. Wow, what a nice growth. I can start harvesting this chard if I want to, but I'm going to wait. They are going to grow pretty big, so I'm going to wait and see. Same thing with all plants. They're all doing excellent and producing nice leaves. Wow, look at them. Maybe I should have pushed the seedlings a little bit inside the sponges. They couldn't stand straight. They need a little bit of support. But uh, some of the seedlings that I transplanted deep into the sponge, they are doing very well here. I just learned a lesson. So if I see the seedlings are coming a little bit above the sponge, so it is always recommended to push them down so that they can have very good support. 
something like this it's day 40 look at this gigantic leaves the chart is coming excellent bigger leaves at the same time they are looking so fresh and this chart is perfectly ready to harvest in fact this chart was ready long time ago at least 10 days ago but uh, i just haven't started harvesting yet but now i'm going to start harvesting this chart and enjoy it as spinach i'm going to use these bigger leaves and uh, matured leaves in cooking and if i'm making salad i'm going to pick some younger leaves that's how i normally use this particular chard basically the perpetual spinach this chard will live for a long time last time when i have grown this in aero garden bounty basic it lasted for more than a year i just got bored of it and uh, pulled the plants otherwise i don't know when exactly this chard is going to end I'm still feeding these plants with aerogade nutrients and I'm feeding 3 ml for every 1 liter of water. That looks like working out very well. Look at this fresh and excellent chad. So I'm going to continue the same amount of nutrition throughout this grow cycle. It's day 45. The perpetual spinach is coming excellent. Look at all these leaves. They are gigantic. I haven't really started harvesting. I'm just harvesting one or two leaves, but I never really harvested heavily. So now I'm going to harvest a couple of uh, spinach. As I'm harvesting, I just want to mention about harvesting. I normally harvest the leaves from the bottom. Just harvest the outer leaves from the bottom. We can just twist it and pull it, or we can use a knife and cut it. This plant is very perfect for a cut and come back. So, we just cut the leaves from the bottom and more leaves are going to come back from the center. Swiss chard survives for a really, really long time. So we can harvest the leaves like this for many, many months. This is one of the reasons I prefer to grow this perpetual spinach instead of traditional spinach because traditional spinach has very short life like uh, 30 days or 45 days at the max. But this perpetual spinach goes for a really long time. This is why perpetual spinach or Swiss chard is my new spinach. Look at this nice bouquet of leaves. Wow. It's day 47. Today I'm going to harvest all the matured leaves, but still keep the plants as is. So they will continue to come up with a new growth. Look at all these young leaves. So I'm going to leave only these young leaves, but harvest all the spinach. I know I kept on saying spinach because, as I said, Swiss chard has become my new spinach. Since it is perpetual spinach, I'm going to keep calling it spinach, but it is actually Swiss chard variety. In the garden rows we stand Green leaves fill our hands Sun is shining Alright, here it is after a deep harvesting. Nothing to be worried about this deep harvesting. These plants are going to come back with a lot more growth just within a week. Alright, that's pretty much about growing Swiss chard, also known as perpetual spinach in hydroponic systems like rain point. This rain point and the perpetual spinach is working very well along with aerogarden nutrients. This combination is working very good. But we can grow this perpetual spinach perfectly using maxi grown nutrients as well. So you feel free to use whatever you prefer. We don't need to use only aerogarden nutrients. All right, that's pretty much about this experiment. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.